Why is meditation the tool? Well, let's sit down, let's close our eyes. Let's disconnect from your outer environment. So if you're seeing less things, there's less stimulation going to your brain. If you're playing soft music or you have earplugs in, less sensory information coming to your brain. So you're disconnecting from your environment. If you can sit your body down and tell it to stay like an animal, stay right here. I'm going to feed you when we're done. You can get up and check your emails. You can do all your texts. But right now, you're going to sit there and obey me. So then when you do that properly and the, you're not eating anything or smelling anything or tasting anything, you're not up experiencing and feeling anything, you would have to agree with me that you're being defined by a thought, right? So when the body wants to go back to its emotional past and you become aware that your attention is on that emotion and where you place your attention is where you place your energy, you're siphoning your energy out of the present moment into the past and you become aware of that and you settle your body back down in the present moment because it's saying, well, it's eight o'clock, you normally get upset because you're in traffic around this time and here you are sitting and we're used to feeling anger and you're off schedule. Oh, it's 11 o'clock and you usually check your emails and judge everybody. Well, your body's looking for that, that predictable chemical state. Every time you become aware that you're doing that and your body is craving those emotions and you settle it back down into the present moment, you're telling the body it's no longer the mind, that you're the mind. And now your will is getting greater than the program. And if you keep doing this over and over again, over and over again, over and over again, just like training a stallion or a dog, it's just going to say, I'm going to sit. And the moment that happens, when the body's no longer the mind, when it finally surrenders, there's a liberation of energy. We go from particle to wave, from matter to energy, and we free ourselves from the chains of those emotions that keep us in the, in the familiar past. And we've seen this thousands of times. In fact, we can actually predict it now on a brain scan. Let your body believe that it's in the experience because it's emotionally experiencing it.
want you to signal your body emotionally to feel the joy of how you would feel so the body begins to be in a future potential now emotionally
existing simultaneously in the quantum field of the vitality of a new life, rich with opportunity, an awe for adventure, and a sense of unbelievability where you feel like you're in a dream. And there's a potential in the quantum field all your prayers are answered, that possibility finds you, that its prayers are being answered now. slowly, when you're ready, you can open your eyes.